The Druids also practiced ritual sex known as the Great Rite, as the fires blazed forth in the darkness. Yep, the bone fires. Bonfires, yep. Okay, well, that's an overview from that. Brian made the comment that the Druids um, did the Great Rite. Now, I have the book here. It's called The Wicked Handbook. is by Ian Holland, right here. And the Great Rite, as she describes it. The Great Rite is a sacred sexuality, the union of Lance and Grail. The god is invoked into the male witch and the goddess into the female. In classical Wicca, there is a formal ceremony that includes the fivefold kiss. The sex act is only symbolic when the rite is performed before the whole coven actual when celebrated in privacy. So you see, Brian decided that he was going to take the stereotype uh, propaganda of wild pagan orgies and call it the great right and say that the pagans did it. Again, Brian lied. Um, this is from uh book Halloween through 20 centuries by Ralph Linton quote although Halloween has become a night of rocking fun superstitious spells and eerie games which people take only half seriously its beginnings were quite otherwise the earliest Halloween celebrations were held by the Druids in honor of Samhain Lord of the Dead whose festival fell on November 1st <laughs> Lord of the Dead all right, this is, an, I believe, created by Hollywood. The Celts did not have a Lord of the Dead. We had a Lord of the Underworld, yes, but we did not have a Lord of the Dead. Samhain means summer's end, Brian. Summer's end. So saying that Samhain is the Lord of the Dead is utterly wrong. It shows that you really haven't done any research about paganism and specifically the Celts. And so you should not be making these videos because you honestly don't know what you're talking about. The Encyclopedia Americana states about Halloween that it is, quote, clearly a relic of pagan times. Encyclopedia Brit Britannica says about Halloween, quote, it long antedates Christianity. The two chief characteristics of ancient Halloween were the lighting of bonfires and the belief that this is the one night in the year during which ghosts and witches are most likely to wander about. History shows that the main celebrations of Halloween were purely druidical, from the pagan druids of Northwest Europe. The Vigil of Samhain, pagan lord of the dead among the druids. And here we go again. Samhain, the pagan lord of the dead. And saying that this is coming from Encyclopedia Britannica, I highly doubt that. But he wanted to give you these definitions of what Halloween is. Well, I got dictionaries too. The American Heritage Dictionary says Halloween, the eve of All Saints Day, falling on October 31st, and celebrated by children who beg treats or play pranks, short for All Hallows' Eve. Whoa, no pagan references there. And then we have the Webster's College Dictionary. Now, and Halloween, October 31st, observed especially by children wearing costumes and getting treats, and by the displaying of jack lanterns, short for All Hallow Even, the, the Eve of All Saints Day. No pagan references. Wow! It was also a Roman festival. Encyclopedia Britannica continues, quote, On the Druidic ceremonies were grafted 
some of the characteristics of the Roman festival in honor of Pomona, held about November 1st, in which nuts and apples representing the winter store of fruits played an important part. History is a wonderful thing. I know my history very well. You see, when Julius Caesar went into Gaul to conquer the Celts, he was a very smart man, and he noticed that the Druids were a very influential group. And thus, when Julius Caesar went on his campaign to conquer Gaul, he also went out to kill all the Druids. It was very important for him to kill the Druids off. Now this is important because here he is talking about a Roman Druidic event when it didn't happen because being a Druid was fatal in Rome. This book encourages Christians to abandon biblical principles so they can participate in this most wicked of holidays. And that's right. It is. It's the most openly satanic of all the pagan satanic holidays. Because they all have occult origins. They all have occult meanings. They all have occult pagan practices and goes back to pagan times, Babylon and everything. But Halloween is the one, the one of them all that's kind of just like in your face. You know, Lord of the Dead, Satan, devils, ghosts, whatever, all this uh, witchcraft, you know, especially with the witchcraft. How many times, in, you know, in my videos, we go in and read, okay, witchcraft is forbidden by God. God doesn't change. So get with the program. And there he goes again, calling pagans satanic. You see, pagans do not have a concept of Lucifer, the devil, Satan. That is truly and only a Christian construct. So the only people that can be satanic are Christians. Do you understand that? Even the Satanists that are in the United States aren't really Satanists because they do not view Satan as this entity. It is a concept of self-empowerment. They don't believe that Satan is this um, magical, mystical entity of pure evil. Only the Christians think that. So stop imposing your religious views on other people's religions. Because, you know, I would love to start thinking, going up to some Christians and just saying, huh, I see you're a low-key Christian. You know, you Lokians just need to stop this. You know, since Loki is considered the uh, god of mischief and all that, and in some eyes very evil, then maybe if I start calling them Lokians, they will get a little upset and understand why we don't like when that we're called satanic. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. And that's what we're trying to do. Like I said, I don't need to go through every detail of this festival. If you can't figure out it's satanic and wrong and evil and works of darkness and all the things that the scriptures are saying that we're supposed to separate from, you got a major problem. You really got a major problem if you can't. And here he's talking about shunning people that are not Christian. Christianity is supposed to be a, a religion of love and peace and tranquility. Everything's possible supposed to be loving. The Bible tells you to love your neighbor. Treat others as you'd be treated as to yourself, but shun anybody who thinks differently than you. This is one of the reasons why I I left Christianity. And he again makes references that pagans are satanic. You see, this shows the hatred that a lot of these evangelical Christians have. And this is why Christianity is falling apart. 
because there are people like me that don't want to be part of this. They're walking away because they don't want to have that much hate in their hearts. From some of these studies. But if you can't discern the fact that Halloween is bad and that as born again Christians we should not be partaking in it, at least this one, I know. I'd like to probably make videos about a lot of the holidays, and I may very well do that, Lord willing. But this one, redeeming for saying it's Christian, you know, yeah, it's Catholic. It is very Catholic. They they latched right on to Samhain, and they got October 31st, November 1st, and made it into All Saints Day or All Hallows Eve and all this stuff. Yeah, it's Catholic. So... That's true, but it's not Christian. It's Catholic, but it's not Christian. I. Th <sighs> this comment shows the hatred that he has for the world, as in what I see. He is still stuck in the Reformation. He is still protesting the Christ the Catholics. Uh, he is probably living a double standard. He is going to tell you that Christianity is the largest, best cut religion in the world. But for the only way that Christianity can claim to be the largest religion in the world is if they claim the Catholics. Because South America has a very strong Catholic population. Without the Catholics, Christianity would be number three. And then comes the other part that these people just seem to forget completely and it just irks me. Now you grab your Bible and you look at it. Well, what does it say? It's going to tell you like new, new um, New American edition, or the most popularly known, is the New King James Version. Keyword here is version. A version means that it is an alteration of something else. Now, what is the New King James Bible a version of? The Catholic Bible. You see, all of these Protestant religions originate from the Catholic Church. You cannot go and say that the Catholics are not Christian, but you are when your religion uses Catholic created items. The Bible was assembled by Council of Nicaea in I think it was 320 Common Era. So you got Martin Luther and all these guys who made their own versions of the Catholic Bible and that's what all these different Protestant religions use. You cannot use the Catholic based Bible and then say that the Catholics aren't Christian. You can't do that. Um, this just, uh, just shows the hate that you have. If you're going that the Catholics aren't Christian you can't have it both ways. And pray for discernment. Ask and pray for the fear of the Lord. Get into God's Word. Because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of, of wisdom and all knowledge. Okay, Without God's Word going in, you're, you're not going to discern anything. Fear of the Lord. You will not know true knowledge unless you have the fear of the Lord. I still don't get it. And maybe that's why I'm never, like so many Christians say, I was never a Christian. Because I don't understand the fear of the Lord. One of the re other reasons why I'm a pagan is because I don't have to live in fear. The Lord and Lady the various gods and goddesses, however you want to refrain, how you want to uh, classify them, call them, group them, whatever way it is. 
we never have to live in fear. We work with them. We serve them. And they and when we need it, they would help us in return. It's a relationship. We don't have to worry about, oh no, it's Lent. I'm supposed to give this up. Oh no, God might strike me down. We never hear anything about pagan God smiting down somebody, do we? But we hear about the Christians always calling for God to smite people down. God did this. God did that. God created this hurricane. God did this earthquake. God smites. But pagan gods don't. And that is a wonderful thing. We learn because we want to. We learn because we enjoy it. We learn because for many of us, it's fun. We don't learn because God might be mad at us. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I've hit a lot of things. I know that some things might irritate a few people, and I'm sorry for that. This was not meant to insult many Christians because I know many Christians are good Christians and they would generally show respect for other religions. If you show respect for other people's beliefs and you don't push off your religions on other people, I am happy for you. I don't care what religion you are if you show respect for other people's religions. Okay? So take care. Be at peace.